Well, hello there. Uh, we're gonna do the. Oh, okay. You good? Hello there, we're gonna be doing a bitch piece of space. This is just a short video, not high quality. It's literally just straight to the point. Uh, here we have this thing in the ball. It's very cheap. Uh, technically, the cheapest way would be to get the respawn ship and then put when well, not even put, but literally turn on one of these things from the console very, very fast and then just shoot it up, shoot it back up where it belongs. Don't even let it like uh, turn on the parachute. But if you don't have that, and if, and if you have something like Rover instead, you can make something like this. Put a gyroscope on, battery, cockpit, H2, and hydrogen, okay? However, there is more than one way to do this. Of course, this one is actually the stupidest way, because the atmospheric doesn't work like this, and you'll only get to a certain point, almost like a balloon, and balloons pop, balloons go down. This will go down once this runs out of power, so no, don't do that. This one already off the books okay next up uh we have the regular hydrogen you see that there's actually two duplicates of this but we'll get on to that later this one may or may not work it might not have enough lift to go up but pretty much the thing is is that this will outweigh the the material costs of something as big as something like that that's what it's doing there. so let's go see so see if this will work by turning this on and thrust override. We lift it up. It actually works. Let's go time this baby. Ah! Alright, so for a time it was working, but now it ain't working. Probably because I didn't put a gyroscope on. But considering that we went from zero to a hundred, I I would actually say that it would be around the cost as a regular, uh, well, thing. Ooh, that's what I like, crash into that. So anyways, now we're, now we're left with like two things, two duplicates actually, but we're going to use them differently. We're going to fly them differently. So let me set these guys up and I'll, and I'll tell you what, what I mean. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what the fuck? Alright, 60 seems to be the one. Let's go time it. Here we go. I think we did it. Let me just turn this baby off. It was 63, by the way. Look how much energy we did. And for not a lot either. Like, look how fast I'm slowing down. Of course, I need more, like, steering to really do it, but. Technically, it's the cheapest way. Maybe not the fastest way, but it's definitely the cheapest way in terms of hydrogen. Okay? So I think maybe the best way to do this without possibly screwing up is to take your build and creative, and then from there, well, test out uh, how far it can go until it can't no more, or until it starts actually flying and then from there calibrate it into your actual survival build. It's still going to be timed, 
but I can tell you I have fact multiple tests have told me that when you go in here and you look at how much uh, stuff have you uh, collected, or if you go over here and you go to the bottom, you see how much stuff has collected. It's much better than you think. It, it is. So let's turn this baby on. Go forward. Let's go. No, <laughs> definitely. This is obviously the fastest, especially when you have the speed modifier on, right there, on the left of my screen. Oh, definitely not the best in terms of uh, trying to survive here. But hey, we went to space. Here it is, space. I mean, no, not not space, but almost space, much faster. So, anyways, I know this was kind of a very short and goofy video, but I just wanted to pretty much come out, come back out of my coffin when it came to space engineers. I might do more Arcadia videos, uh, but like more professionally. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm falling, I'm about to go into the clouds right now, but yeah.